there. My name is Henry James and I play lead guitar for the band Robert John on the Wreck. And right now we're here at Knuckleheads in Kansas City, Missouri. We're going to play a really cool show tonight here at this wonderful venue. And I'm going to tell you about uh, some of the gear I'm bringing on tour with me. So first and foremost, I have an Epiphone Firebird uh, from 2020. I got it brand new on a whim a couple of years ago and just fell in love with it. Um, and it's been the guitar I bring with me everywhere ever since about, I think it was 2021 that I got it. Um, I modified it a little bit. I put a Graf Tech bridge on it, a Duesenberg tailpiece, and some Seymour Duncan mini humbuckers in the guitar to kind of give it a little extra oomph, a little extra ball. So uh, that's one of the main guitars I perform with and uh, use that in a standard tuning, uh, or sometimes I'll throw it into drop D and I play uh, Ernie Ball 10 to 46 gauge strings on it and uh, kind of interchange that depending on how I'm feeling that'll sometimes be a main guitar sometimes I'll have it as a backup uh, right now I've been playing it more of the set for the last couple gigs just to kind of change things up a little bit the other guitar I've got out with me is a 2004 Gibson SG 61 reissue and that I have tuned in open E with GHS Boomers, gauge 50 to 11. I've got pickups made by my buddy Soli out in France. They're Hepcat PAF recreations. They're called the 59 Full Bucker, I believe is the model. And uh, they're just great, sound really, really awesome. I use that for all the open E tunes we've got in the set. We've got a few of them. So just to kind of get that authentic open E, Dwayne Allman kind of Derek Trucks flavor, I've got that. SG set up in open E. Last but certainly not least, the guitar I'm most excited about is uh, the brand new Henry James Signature guitar, Signature Juliet, made by my buddies at Eastman. Um, I have it set up in either standard or drop D and I kind of alternate that with my Firebird and uh, I just can't say enough good things about it. They literally knocked it out of the park. Uh, we worked on designing that guitar kind of started work on it about two years ago. Uh, they came up with the Juliet model and then I sort of softly suggested the idea of maybe doing some modifications to it and uh, they wound up being responsive to it. We started working on it, flipped the headstock around, put some of those Seymour Duncan mini humbuckers that I love and a really cool Goldo uh, Bigsby style vibrato tailpiece. And uh, man, it is just a excellent, excellent guitar and um, I'm constantly conflicted between that and my Firebird, which I thought I would never ever uh, find a substitution before, but it's, but it's true. It is everything I've ever wanted in a guitar and it kicks ass and it's gonna be coming out this year. So more people can buy it. The guitar I play on stage exactly.